Hi, my name is Jean and this is my channel, Learn with Jean. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why user experience matters for the growth of your business. So you may have heard the term user experience thrown a lot in this online business world. What it means is that it really defines how your customers interact with your business as the end user. So I say end user, but maybe it might be helpful to think about the learner. Well, let's give an example of you are a business owner and you are selling a online course or online membership or online community and you provide this kind of course content in your software, whatever software you use, whether it's Thinkific or not Thinkific or Teachable or WordPress. And regardless of what platform you use, the most important thing is the user experience. So when your learner gets started, so how do they interact with your business? How do they get in? Is it easy to get in? Is it frustrating? Is it complicated? Is it confusing? All of those challenges and missteps can send your learners away from your business. So if they have a poor interaction, getting logged in, accessing the content, or watching videos, all that really affects how they perceive your business and how they perceive the way you put energy and thought and detail into the customer and learner experience. And so this is really important because if your customer or learner or user has a really poor interaction with how they're able to get on board, ask questions, participate, they're really not gonna want to buy from you or learn from you ever again. The reason is because one, in this digital world, we, including myself included, have a very short and limited attention span. So the minute something gets frustrating, we just want to click out and hit the X button and never again log back in. And that can be a problem because one, then you have low completion rates, you have low engagement, and you have a frustrated learner and user. And it can be really challenging to get them set up again and get started again and engaged again after they've had a really negative experience. Therefore, building a really positive user experience is really important. There is no universal user experience. The best way to design a really positive user experience is to one, ask yourself, what do my customers and learners and users want? Two, go and ask them for feedback. And then three, go and test it out yourself. So what does that mean? So one, what do your customers need from the experience with logging in and getting into your course? The first recommendation I would say is one, map out all the different steps that go in to logging in to your course. Or maybe you could even map it out starting from checkout. So after they've paid, after they've checked out, what's the next step? If you can really, and I think this is where it really helps to have someone on your team who's really good at this to help you map it out and visualize the flow of the user experience. Have someone on your team, or if you think you can do this yourself, go ahead and try this yourself but map out the flow of all the steps from the user experience from getting checked out to paying and then to what's the next step if you can identify all the steps that come after each experience and then test it out for yourself to see if that makes sense and then ask your customers ask your learners ask your users if that is resonating with them ask them what troubles they're having, then you'll better be able to design and re-tweak, re you'll be able to tweak the user experience to their liking. And this is really important because oftentimes the user experience can be really frustrating and so people never open up your courses again. So as I, so the first step would be one, to map it out, write it out, and visualize it. And I, from my experience, writing it out is less effective as having some kind of user flow map. So you can do it on any kind of software. It's because it's not really about the software. You can write it out, you can draw it out. So you want to visualize and brainstorm with your team each step of the way to getting onboarded and to getting started with the course. So what does that look like? What are they clicking on? What page does it take them on? And does it take them to the right page? And it might even help when you're building this map to have screenshots, because when you can see the pages that they land on and look at what pages, to see if the pages they're landing on is actually the pages that they need to be accessing, then you can better understand what the problem is. 
And so as you build this map, it really helps to take a step back, to look at it, to put yourself in the shoes or the steps of your user and how they're interacting. So the idea is really to take yourself out of the equation and imagine that you are the learner, you are the user interacting with your course for the first time and getting started with your business and online program for the first time. As you imagine yourself starting this program, you want to ask yourself what is the right step and what is the right sequencing of how they need to be onboarded and getting started. And if that sequencing is not right, then you need to tweak the different steps. Now I know this is not gonna be an overnight process. This could take a while, but it's important. And if you put in the time to do this, you'll really see the difference it makes in your business. So let's just say you've mapped this out, you have your diagram, you have all the screenshots of the pages that they're landing on and you know that it's what it needs to be. And then second, you can go ahead and go and get feedback from your customers, learners and users and say, okay, what are your experiences? Can we do some focus groups? Sometimes it does help to do focus groups because then they can share their screen. They can show you what it's like from their end so that you can match up what their experience is with what your visual map looks like. After focus groups and after one-on-one -on -one video screen shares, you can do follow-ups because this is really important because you'll take the feedback, you'll summarize the feedback, and then you will put those feedback into the actual changes into the steps of their user experience. Because if someone says, I'm not getting all the login information about how to access my course and what my password is, then you can redesign the sequence of onboarding so that the welcome email includes all the steps about how to reset their password, how to get technical help, etc. So then after you've done that kind of market research and surveyed and got feedback, then you can go ahead and make the changes on the last step. And so once you make the changes in the last step, you want to then retest it. So go back to the people that have given you feedback and that you've done focus groups with and say, okay, this is the changes that I've made and I'm going to test it again. And this seems right from my end, but I'd love for you to participate and give me feedback as well. This step is really important to do every time you're planning to make changes to the way your site looks, introduce new programs, introduce new communities. It's all part of the experience that they will have. And I say experience in a very broad way because the experience for each person will vary. And it's most important to understand that experience is how they interact, how they engage, how they feel, are they frustrated? What's the impact of how they interact with your business? All of that will really impact and help with customer retention, the growth of new customers who are coming in because then they'll have a very positive user experience. And when you have a really positive user experience, you're gonna see that your growth and revenue of your business will continue to scale. If you don't focus on those details of the back end that impact the user experience on the front end, it really leads to a frustrating experience that can turn people off and make them never want to come back to learn from you again. And so the whole goal of this online business world is to continue to have more customers, but also to grow our business in a way that is sustainable. And so when you don't have a great experience, then it can really make it hard for those customers to want to come back and learn from you again. So I hope those three tips help you to build a really positive and know how to redesign a positive experience for your customers and end users. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, leave any feedback, and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.